how well he did. I'm sure he talked to him a little bit about his approach with this Tennessee lineup as well. But a good matchup. We know Beam and his talent, how good he can be and how tough he's going to be on this Georgia lineup. But Sullivan definitely needs to step up in this role. Performance from him. 1-2 pitch to Ahuna. Got him on four pitches. And Maui Ahuna is retired. And there's one down here in the first as we take a look at the Tennessee batting order after Ahuna strikes out. Walks 45 hits allowed. Opponents batting 233 against him. Ball is driven to left field. Connor Tate reacts, catches, inning over. And Dickey is stranded on the bases for Tennessee. Bulldogs batting for the first time when we get back. Here's the 2-2 pitch to Ben Anderson. Stroke to left field, going back to the wall, and it's gone! Well, sorry, Drew Beam, if I jinxed you. Ben Anderson homers in consecutive Sundays to give Georgia the 1-0 lead. But we fully expect to see him today. 0-1 pitch to Tate is lined into right field for a base hit. Might be another double. Hits the first base bag, heads to second, and he is in there safe. That plays. Yeah, I, I think their pitching certainly gets him to Omaha. It's, will their hitting show up? Harbor back up the middle, base hit. Here comes Connor Tate. He's going to score without a throw, and George has jumped out to a 2-0 lead here in the first. 0-1 pitch, chopper on the infield. Harbor charging, looks at second, throws to first, gets the out there as Moore advances to second, one down. 6-1, 2-0-4. 2-2 pitch, cold strike three, Sullivan. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to close out the second. Three strikeouts for Sullivan, his first time through the order. 3-2 pitch, line drive, center field, base hit, Murillo. For LaPlante, and here's Dwight Allen. Allen, solid stroke to center field, base hit. Here comes Murillo, throw will be cut off. Georgia has a 3-0 lead. And how about Dwight Allen in just his second start of the season, two for five on the year, drives in his fourth run of the season with a solid single to center. 12 at Kansas a year ago. 1-2 is stroked into left field, stays up long enough for Connor to get to it. Connor Tate with the put out in left field, one down. Three balls and two strikes to Griffin Merritt. Sullivan delivers with the runners going, strikes him out. By D1 Baseball in the Terre Haute Regional. Ball, Condon delivers deep and gone. Home run number 21. And that was almost an instant replay of yesterday's home run. Going first pitch, gets a fastball early. It's his 21st bomb of the year. We're going to see him, and then yesterday, Tennessee just never had a lead. And that's going to be a base hit into right field. Seven hits now for the Dogs. Weekends ago, you, you saw him kind of start to guess a little bit, had a Striking out a little bit more, but still finding a way to be productive. Because it took a wild carom. Right back to Condon, and that'll be the third out of the inning. But the Volunteers tie it up with three runs in the top of the fourth. And we got a new game as we head to the bottom half. Loss, and you got to get it back up and play at 930. There's nothing more torturous than that in college baseball. At first. Got him. Second strikeout of the inning for Greenler. And the balls strand Denton at first. Heading to the bottom half of the fifth, tied at four. Alvarez and Frank Thomas, of course, ended up being big leaguers. Thomas, a superstar big leaguer, as Moore has one roll up his arm. The error committed by Tennessee, and Ben Anderson reaches to start the fifth. 146 total bases, started the day second in the conference. Gets up underneath this one. Deep center field, back at the wall. He did it again. 
and a piece of the wall comes tumbling down. The padding, Charlie Condon, now at 22 home runs on the season. Hit on the ground, Moore bobbles it again. Second consecutive error on Moore. If they score it that way, it did take a bad hop on him. 3-2 pitch. Driven to right field, got a chance to get out of here, and it does! Playing this Bulldog scheme, proving to be very opportunistic, really in these last two ball games, and Vitello is gonna come out to get beamed, but back-to-back -back errors, well, they called Waggers a single, but misplayed balls by Moore at second base, followed up by home runs. One from Condon, one here from Harbor. Harbor going backside, that was something we saw him get going when he started hitting the ball that way with some power. Hot shot to Harbor, goes to second one. LaPlante on the first two double play around the horn, a 5-4-3 double play, and there's two down in the inning. Well, trying to retire him here in the sixth. Got him! Caldwell gets the strikeout, gets the job done. The two-run homer and made it 8-4. to four. Ground ball going to bounce into right field for a base hit. Hit number 11 for the Dogs and the second hit of the day for Ben Anderson. Got one guy through 35 pitches. Ball hit in the air. Allen, the right fielder, has it for out number one, and Moore is retired to Scott. Hits this one in the air to Connor Tate, backing up on the track, reaches up at the last second. That came, just kept carrying. Tate tracks it down right in front of the wall. Seventh inning stretch, Georgia leading 8-4. Scored three more runs, and they've knocked in three more runs. And another hit for Connor Tate, his second of the day. Hitting streak now at 10 games for Connor Tate. 19 for his last 39. Closer, and, they, and it just hasn't happened for him the last two games. Murillo behind the bag at second base for out number one. The way from doing that. One two pitch. Cold strike three. Raydans with the punch out. LaPlante at the plate. 1 0 from Russell. Line drive, right field. Going to drop for a base hit. To Anderson. Condon on deck. Anderson Tapper on the infield. Bounces off the bag. Coming around to score is LaPlante. And it's 9-4. to 2-2. Four. Two, two. In the air. Left field going back. And Tate at the wall has it. And Georgia wins. Dogs beat the balls 9-4. First series win for Georgia after losing three straight to their rivals from the north. Dogs' first series win since 2018, the last time they won it here in Athens.